How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a great day. In this photo news brief, I want to talk about Nikon trying to stop you from destroying your camera. So their grand plan is to get you to buy only Nikon Genuine batteries. Lately, have you priced the OEM batteries? One word, it's ridiculous. Also, Nikon wants you to buy their memory cards for the Z9 and the Z8. Those prices are ridiculous too. Now that I got your attention, it's time for another photo news brief. Hello Nikon users. If you haven't heard already, Nikon is forwarding warnings that third-party accessories like batteries and memory cards are causing issues with the cameras. They're saying that generic batteries may put your camera at risk. Hi, my name is Vaughn. I've personally been touched by battery and memory card issues. Go to the link above. Nikon makes a good point with their warning. I'm happy to say that for once. Concerning my own experiences with batteries and memory cards, I have concrete information that it was me all alone, not the camera. So basically, this video is a public service announcement for all those Nikon users that want to be cheap. Stop being cheap. So subscribe to my channel and I will give you information that will help you to be a better photographer and to take better care of your camera so you won't have these issues. Unfortunately, I had this problem with my mirrorless camera. I sent it into Nikon service and repair because it would start overheating when the battery had a few bars left on the meter. Nikon sent the camera back and said they ran every test possible and didn't find an issue. I now know that the issue was me. Being an economically responsible fugal person, or in translated terms, cheap, I was using the OEM battery, which was a 15C battery during my event photography without issues doing photography and video. But when the battery drained, I used generic batteries, and this is where the problem started with the errors and the camera overheating. This is a 15B battery. So, it would cause issues as the battery drains. So as a follow-up, the Nikon rep uh, messaged me and asked me if I was using Nikon's genuine batteries. And of course I said, yes, sir, I always use them. <sighs> so in the email, the rep also included that third-party batteries might void the warranty or damage the camera and limit Nikon's liability. Whoa, so guess what? This is going in the trash. Uh, well, not in the trash, in the recycle bin. Now, this is the part where most of us go wrong with this conundrum. We think because a third-party accessory was used in our previous generation of cameras that it's still up to standards. Me using those old batteries could have destroyed the circuits in this camera from voltage spikes and it not properly regulating heat. Believe it or not, Nikon does invest in research and development to test and develop their batteries for different camera models. Nikon ensures the batteries provide reliable power and don't malfunction during usage. That's grand. I wish I would have known that sooner. Now, this is the part of the video you need to listen to carefully. Are you listening carefully? So this is a FYI moment. Most camera batteries are lithium ion. And so you're probably familiar with that with Tesla. They contain temperature sensors to detect camera overheating. So most third parties use a computer chip to defeat Nikon's cameras from knowing that they are overheating. So if you're getting that not OEM error, then you're using a cheap knockoff Nikon battery. So return it. Most lithium ion camera batteries use a thermistor to adjust resistance based on heat. These thermistors are used in your clothes dryer, microwaves, and anything that has or creates heat. This is how it works. Once the camera hits a certain temperature, it shuts down. That's why when I swap batteries, the camera error is cleared and the camera powered back on. So don't you use this hack for your generic batteries. It's dangerous. So that might explain in my earlier issues when I swapped the generic battery out for a new battery, the errors went away and the camera powered back on and I no longer had the overheat warning. 
So that might explain what happened. Hmm, you learn something new every day. Please don't use the hack of removing the battery and putting another generic battery in because you just might destroy your camera with that hack. And I'm not responsible. Now, this is what you need to know about third-party manufacturers. They remove or replace parts like the thermistor with a simple resistor. With this resistor, the temperature never changes. It doesn't matter if the battery is hot or cold. This condition can cause thermal runaway, which is an incident where an exothermal process triggers other processes, finally resulting in an uncontrollable increase in temperature. This can result in the destruction of the battery or in severe cases, cause a fire. That might explain why Nikon has built-in safeguards like air messages and the camera shutting down when the camera overheats. And it also keeps you from being cheap. After all, who wants their expensive camera to have a meltdown during an event because of a faulty lithium ion battery? Let's switch and talk about memory cards. Memory cards are expensive. This one, was 75 bucks on Amazon. I bought this for this camera and guess what? I found out that it wasn't fast enough and this was another issue I had besides the battery. So guess what I did? Because I fixed the battery problem, but I didn't fix the memory card problem. And guess what I did next? I sent the camera back to Nikon because it was still overheating. And what I didn't know is it was this memory card. And again, I didn't do my homework and check the compatibility list. And so I basically screwed myself being cheap. That's why I have this Sony Tough card and this works great. It's fast enough. Heat, heat dissipation is marvelous. So I don't have those errors or the camera powering down anymore. And the camera actually works like it should. And that might explain why other owners of this same camera were saying, I never experienced this problem. It was because I was being cheap and they had bought uh, memory cards and the battery, Nikon batteries that were on the compatibility list, unlike me. You live and you learn. Oh yeah, and the second time around, the Nikon rep called me on the phone and I spoke to him and he asked me what type of memory cards I was using, what type of batteries I was using. And I basically was too embarrassed to tell him that I was using this cheapy. So I just pretended like I didn't know which one it was. So my mistake, my bag. So spend that money, people. $200 on sale to get it right. 75 bucks not to get it right. You pay for what you get. I will put the link to the compatibility list for memory cards for the Nikon approved memory cards in the descriptions below. Now I'm not saying that you need to buy the Nikon CF Express B cards at 700 bucks, but if you're spending $5,000 on the Z9 and $4,000 on the Z8 and also buying Z lenses, you got money. Me, I'm floating in bills from buying OEM batteries and the Nikon Z8. So I won't be buying anything soon. So does this mean you have to toss your old batteries into the old technology dustbin in your drawer or closet? No, but just heed Nikon's warning and stop buying cheap knockoff stuff. So next time you'll think twice about whether Nikon is trying to save you from yourself. Please leave those comments and thank you for watching and stop being cheap.